sometimes I'm in the mood just to do some simple artwork. So what I've got here is I've got two slices of wood. Now, I really like these slices of wood and what I could do is I could just clean them up really good and then put some polyurethane on them and I could hang them on the wall just like they are. But what I wanna do is I wanna try to enhance them a bit. So I've got these two small canvases. So the plan is to, first of all, I'm gonna clean them up and then I'm gonna cut holes in the middle of each one of them and then mount these two small canvases in the middles of them. Now, how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna actually, once they're cleaned up a bit, I'm gonna mount some plywood backer boards on the backs of the wood slices. And what that'll do is that'll actually help stabilize the slices of wood so that like in the future, when they're moved around, none of the corners or anything break off of them. But the backer boards will actually provide support to hold the two small paintings in place. So essentially the wood slices become like big picture frames for the two small paintings. I went out and tried to cut a pine tree down Fell through the ground This must be a nest I got rocks and sticks against my chest I'm Alice Dear Queen of Hearts I'ma grow you white roses So you can learn to be kind oh, oh. So you can learn to be kind Oh, what a start Inside out and upside down No stress, I'ma clean up this mess La, like Alice Hand me scissors, then bring out the heavy Okay, so the plan was to cut holes in the middle of these two wood slices and mount paintings in the middle. But now that I've cleaned up the wood slices, I actually really like these two pieces. And I don't think I can bring myself to cut holes in the middle of them. So I just went over to my scrap wood area where I got these and I was looking through it and I found this piece right here. Now, what I'm thinking right now is that I'm gonna grind this piece down and clean it up really good and then mount it in the middle of these two pieces. Sometimes when I'm doing an art project, the plan changes. I mean, I might start out with one idea and then as I'm going along, things change and I end up going a completely different direction than how I started out. Then bring out the heavy artillery. Oh, justice is my middle name. I'm Alice.
grow you white roses So you can learn to be kind Taking a heart To our bodies for So you can learn Thank you.
wanna talk about the artwork a little bit, but the only thing is I really don't wanna wear my work hat when I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this one. It's actually October 23rd today, so it's like eight days from Halloween, and I wanna start getting in the spirit. Now, this definitely isn't Halloween art. I don't know what exactly just happened. I know I said I wanted to get in the spirit of things, but I didn't mean it quite like this. Maybe it's the hat. So we're gonna go ahead and try to reverse this and get back to the regular video. So this definitely shouldn't be Halloween art. Okay, we're back. Now, here's the thing about this art piece right here. Originally, I started out with a completely different idea. So I was gonna use these two paintings in the middles of these two pieces of wood right here. But once I cleaned up the pieces of wood, I just couldn't bring myself to cut holes in the middles of them and put the paintings in them. So I ended up finding this piece of wood right here and putting it in the middle. And then I seriously considered installing the two paintings right here where these holes are. So I was gonna cut the holes out and then mount the paintings right here. And even though I seriously considered doing it, I decided against it. The number one goal for me is to make the best piece of art that I possibly can at any given time. So a lot of times I start out with one idea and then end up going a completely different direction. And a lot of times it's a surprise to me where I end up, just like this piece right here. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on it and take a closer look at it. Mm -hmm. 